First law, the law of pure potentiality. The field of spirit, the field of soul, is the field of pure potentiality. Your mind thinks in limitations, but your spirit is infinite, unbounded, eternal, beyond space-time and causality, and therefore there's no limitation. Whatever consciousness can imagine, it can accomplish, and once it does that, it imagines something more because imagination is also a never-ending horizon. So your soul is that part of you. And in order get, to get in touch with your soul, you have to get past the secret passages and the dark alleys and the ghost-filled attics of your mind, which is the problem. Your soul is in the space between your thoughts. It's the stillness that is the field of pure potentiality. And there are three ways of getting there. One is through meditation. So when you practice meditation, very slowly your mind settles down and goes past the turbulence and then gets quieter and quieter and quieter till it finally slips into the field of pure potentiality. The second way is through the practice of non-judgment because 99.9% .9 of our internal dialogue is about judgment. We're always trying to classify things as good and bad, right and wrong. I've never believed that self-righteous morality is any, any indication of um, spirituality. As H.G. Wells, the English playwright, once said, self-righteous morality is just jealousy with a halo. <laughs> so actually, <laughs> even Jesus Christ said, uh, he who is without sin should cast the first stone. So when you stop judging, you say, you start your day, uh, today I'll judge nothing that happens. And by judging nothing that happens, I'll create silence in my mind. It's an absolutely amazing experience. You feel much lighter physically, emotionally, because to carry the burden of judgment is a huge thing. So you just say to yourself, today I shall judge nothing that happens. And in doing so, I will create silence in my mind and get in touch with my spirit. See what happens. And every time you catch yourself in a judgment, just stop and say, next. Okay? So that's the second way of activating the law of pure potentiality. And the third way of activating is to commune with nature. Because nature is the body of the spirit. You know, the trees are your lungs without them you wouldn't be able to breathe. If the trees didn't breathe, you wouldn't breathe. If you didn't breathe, the trees wouldn't breathe. There are our extended lungs. The earth is our recycled body. We commune with the earth and it recycles through us as our physical body. The rivers and waters are our circulation. The air is our breath and the stars and galaxies with all their infinite particles of light is what creates the universe and ultimately we are beings of light as well.